With those high heat indexes, there are some risk groups that need to take more precaution in this heat. And one of those groups thinks they can still do it all sometimes. Pregnant women. Dr. Candice McGregor, OBGYN with Christie Clinic, is here for, for today's Med Live. Thanks so much for being here with us. No so what is it that uh, the extra precautions, why is it that pregnant women need to make sure they're, they're really taking care of their health? Well, pregnant women are very vulnerable to the heat. Um, the first thing is, is that pregnant women tend to run a higher body temperature anyway and require more water than the average woman. You put that woman out in a 90 and 100 degree weather and her temperature goes up even higher and her need for water goes up even higher. So she's very vulnerable to the experience of the heat. What are some of the consequences? Well, once a woman starts to get too warm, her body uses a lot of extra water, and if she doesn't stay hydrated, her body will dehydrate. Mm -hmm. And that's going to cause a few things. The first one is a higher risk of preterm labor. Preterm labor affects about 10 to 15 percent of pregnancies, and it's really difficult to stop once it gets started, so we want to focus on prevention, and staying hydrated is one of those things that can help prevent it. The second thing is, is women are just going to feel more miserable when they're hot and dehydrated. They're going to have more back pain, more bladder spasms, more crampiness, even maybe some bleeding, and they're just not going to feel right if they're too hot and too dehydrated. So you mentioned the water. How much water is necessary? Well, you know, we try to encourage any pregnant woman to drink about eight glasses of water a day. The time that you spend outside is going to multiply that. You may need even 10 to 14 glasses of water a day. I would say at least one to two glasses of water for every hour spent outside in the heat. Mm, interesting. All right, do, uh, do women actually understand the, the, how much this, this affects us, or is it something that you see all the time, women coming in? You mentioned uh, there's been a lot of hospital admissions. Yeah, I, I think women are surprised by how much the heat can affect them. Pregnant women tend to want to, like you said, do it all, be everything for their families, and they need to take a little extra time to focus on themselves. We have seen some increased visits to the hospital for women who are dehydrated, and oftentimes we can just give them a little extra fluid through an IV and send them home, but sometimes it's a bit more serious than that. Okay, let's talk about some of the symptoms so a woman knows when it's, it's gotten too far. Sure, so there are a few signs. You know, some of them would include difficulty breathing, a rapid pulse, feeling of confusion, excessive fatigue, crampiness or bleeding, of course, for the pregnant woman, and just any symptom that makes them feel they're just not feeling right, they mm -hmm. should just go ahead and give us a call. And at what point do they need to go into the doctor or go into the emergency room? Sure. I think giving a call whenever you're concerned is a good idea, and a nurse or a physician can help you decide if it's the right time based on your symptoms. Okay, very good. Dr. Candace McGregor with Christie Clinic, thank you so much for being here with us today. Thank you for Helping keeping women safe.